as the new government continues to cope with the $51 million running deficit. As reported by Premier and Finance Minister Dr. Honorable D. Orlando Smith during his financial address last month, Financial Secretary Neil Smith says that measures are being taken to get the country back on track, which should have been taken a long time ago. Addressing civil servants during Tuesday's HR talk at the Central Administration Building's Breezeway, the Financial Secretary said that revenue growth has not kept pace with the country's expenditure since the financial crash in the U.S. He said that line between what funds are available and the necessary expenditures has almost vanished and the BVI has been living on borrowed time. As a result, Smith said the cutbacks being made today are drastic but could have been less if they were taken previously. In effect, we've been living on borrowed time for some time now, okay, the last few years or so. And every effort has been made to insulate civil servants from that uh, particular reality. However, uh, and we should have done this from about, when was the, the expenditure exercise cut that we had last time? 2008. Uh, we should have actually made some significant decisions then, and we did not. Uh, and what happened is it actually put us in a worse position today than it would have been then. So the cuts that we would have made in 2008 would not have had to be as dramatic as these that we have today. Identifying some of the major decisions government has made to cut costs within the public service, the Financial Secretary explained that in order to ensure civil servants did not lose their jobs during these economically challenging times, it became necessary to take drastic measures which include reducing public servants' increments from 3% to 1.5% and a 7% decrease in operational expenses of individual ministries and departments. He added that these measures are saving the country millions of dollars, which will be used to augment the territory's reserve fund. By reducing increments by 1.5% and by making a 7% cut on the funds that you have available for running your ministries and departments, we made um, a total uh, expenditure cut, right, of some uh, 13.3, 13, uh, slightly over 13 million dollars. We have used those savings to augment the resource fund, and we have a mandate. We 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 would like to have the results, just cash that is there sitting so we could use in times of emergency to cover at least three months of operational uh, of operations in the government. So if you have a period of time when you're getting no revenue coming into government, we want to be able to run the government. People's salaries still going through. You're still being able to run your departments and ministries basically as normal for three months. Meanwhile, Director of Internal Audit Wendell Gaskin speaking on the importance of the cost-cutting measures, which he said some persons were against. Gaskin alluded to the intervention by the UK in the event that the territory's finances do not improve and the right steps taken. We are asking you to do more with less. I believe, personally believe, that I'm talking to my colleagues because I know that this civil servant can rise to the occasion. And so we are going to rise to the occasion simply because I think that you need to understand the big picture here. Our sovereignty, I don't know if Mr. Smith stressed that before, is at stake here. If we don't do the correct things, then we're going to have some people who are going to be telling us what to do, and they're not going to look like us. So, if they're not looking like us, I am not sure you're going to be able to get the same benefit. You're not going to be able to run to this person and run to that person and get some satisfaction. In a recent GIS press release, Premier and Finance Minister Dr. Orlando Smith said that elected officials would also be experiencing a cut in their pay package. He added that these cuts will be used to significantly boost appropriations to the reserve fund, thereby paving the way for a stronger fiscal position. According to the Premier, public officers are expected to maintain or improve on the quality of service they have provided in the past, but they will have fewer financial resources with which to do so.